guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different. I have two of my babies, Cora. Say hi, Cora. <laughs> King. <laughs> and these are my Aussie babies. What are you guys doing? You guys are so playful. Kingy, this is my firstborn. I call him my firstborn. He's so cute. He's a two-year-old Australian Shepherd, a red merle. He has one blue eye and one like amber blue eye. Kind of hard to see. I think he just rolled his eye by so these are my babies. I decided to come to Miami because my family lives here and Governor Cuomo decided that he was going to extend the quarantine another 30 days. So I said, bye. So I am isolating away from my family for a few days, even though I already got tested because I want to make sure, you know, I'm coming from New York, which is a super hot spot for coronavirus. So I'm here and I'm so happy to be enjoying my little baby's company and be with my family and get to relax. I just couldn't take being inside my apartment anymore. I mean, I love my apartment, of course, but so many days with everything closed, it's just so much going on, right, King? King is happy for me to be here. He actually tries to hold my hand. This is what he does. I love him so much. So I got King two years ago from upstate New York. The story is that he was with me for a few months and then I realized that because they're Australian Shepherds, they really need a lot of exercise. They need to be mentally stimulated. They have to have a lot of things going on. And I felt bad that he was inside of my apartment, even though it's not that small, because he just has nowhere to play and you know, they need to be outside a lot. These Aussies love being outside. So that's exactly what today's vlog is about. I said, you know what, let me do something. I'm gonna make it about my Aussies. And I love him, his name is King Sven Pino. My last name is Pino and I was originally gonna name him Sven, like one of the characters in Frozen, but not after that character, just because I love the name Sven. So let's go hang out with the Aussies and see what it's like to have an Aussie. And they are so fun. So energetic so let's go hang out with my pups so let's take a look to see what they're doing right now they love to run they cannot focus on one thing I mean they can focus on one thing if they're doing like tricks you know obedience training um, show dog training and things like that but they're very really active that's what I mean by not very focused so let's follow them hi King well, my Aussies just love watching the people go by. They just have so much fun like following people on their bicycles or whenever someone runs around. Okay, so in Miami, it's like 90 degrees and it's like April, it's like 84 or something. What's that game? What do you hear? So they're very attentive, like I said, and yeah, so they need a really, like I said, a lot of attention. King has such a different personality than Cora. Cora's spunky. She'll do anything. She jumps super high. She doesn't care if she gets hurt. Like, she'll explore. King is, like, relaxed, very refined and fancy. And, like, he stayed the same since he was little. The personality doesn't change. Like, when I had him as a baby... Oh my god, I will not even, like, it is so cute. Like, I had him in my apartment, so he would go to daycare because my building has a little um, dog city, that's what it's called, downstairs, where you can bring your dogs um, to hang out all day. So I went to pick him up, and when I got off the elevator upstairs, I put little King on the ground. I'm like, King, go! And he literally went to the door of my apartment. And King is like this big, like what, six months, maybe way less, like four months. Yeah, I was like four months old. I'm like, this dog is a genius. So I have to say, Australian Shepherds are geniuses. They will play little tricks on you. I've heard that they can like open doors or like they, I don't know, just little, oh! 
Okay, he decided to do that. That's another thing he likes to do. So he'll sit on me, like, butt first. And Cora likes to do that too. I think Aussies, like, love to sit on people with their butts. At least my Aussies do. And he'll, like, sit on my face. Like, if I'm laying down or if I'm sitting, he'll sit on my face. Like, his butt to my face. I don't know why. He just loves that. Hold on a second. Cora? Cora! So you have to watch them. They're so smart that you have to keep track of them. That's another thing. You have to be there on top of them. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Our cat got out. Fuck. My sister's gonna kill me. Sorry. I found the cat. Our cat knows how to open doors. My sister has three cats, so this one's name is Milo, but they're not part of this video, so. So yeah, as you can see, another thing is that they have so much fur, like so much. So you have to get them groomed. You, you can learn how to do it on your own, but it's really hard. Like we have to get a groomer. They get groomed about once a month. If they're really, really dirty, then maybe twice, but it's really important. They have to keep trimmed or else their hair will be to the floor. Like it's so, look, I'll put my hand in here and it disappears basically. This is his chest, my hand disappears. So, but it's beautiful. So he is a red Merle Australian Shepherd and he's a red Merle because his hair is kind of a really like almost reddish. It's like a brownish red. And it's so cute like when they get wet and like shower, they have like little kinky hairs like kind of like little, I don't know if you can see there. And they get a little wet, it's really cute. I'm gonna put on my glasses cause it's so hot out here. If you're gonna have them in a place like Cali or Miami, uh, you need to be able to have a place to put them inside. You cannot leave Australian Shepherds outside all the time, um, especially in hot, really hot weather. They need to be indoors. They like to sleep on the cold ground. So we have really nice beds for them and oftentimes they, prefer sleeping on the ground because the cold wood floor, it makes them cooler. And so their fur is like the equivalent to a fur coat. Do they shed? Yes, they shed a lot. And it's really not a big deal. We have a Roomba, so the Roomba goes around and it really vacuums, but you need to get a vacuum that will work for dog hair. Um, and their hairs are like long and thin. So it's, it is a lot of work. So you kind of have to be prepared to clean up after that. He just absolutely loves it. He has a blast and it keeps their fur really cool. And even since he was a little baby and I brought him here, the first thing he did was jump in the pool. It was like so cute and it was so much fun. Right, King? It keeps you cold. That's one thing. If you're gonna have an Australian Shepherd, they are a lot of work. You need to be with them there consistently for obedience training. If you're gonna have them as a show dog or if you're just gonna have them as a pet, even if you have them as a pet, they need to constantly be stimulated. That means like they can do little tricks. You can give them chores, like go get the mail, you know, put the laundry in the laundry basket. Um, our dogs won't do that, but we do little tricks with them. We take them to daycare here in Miami. They have a really cute place called applause for paws or applause your paws i think it's applause for paws i'll put the link below so and they're not that expensive so they go there they'll be with tons of dogs they have an option for training or daycare so if you're gonna get them maybe you know if that's something that's within your budget you can sign them up to go to a day camp type of thing for training or just daycare Another thing is that they love, they absolutely love to socialize. So if you're gonna have Aussies, be prepared. They love socializing with other dogs, every type of dog. I have not met a dog or a cat that my dogs, King and Cora, cannot get along with. I mean, they love, love animals. It could be any type of animal. And they're like just dying to socialize. They're like, da, 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 da. like they walk up to all the dogs and they, like hang out and then when the daycare sends us videos at the end of the day i'm like wow they love socializing they're like the life of the party like the popular kids so that's their personalities so they're super social their hair requires a lot of maintenance fur 
they're like wearing fur coats and you have to cut them a lot so if you have the time and patience to do it yourself well kudos to you but personally for us we have to get a groomer yes from time to time because they love playing in the mud they love playing in the grass and getting dirty um time to time we will wash them ourselves but not cut hair because it's extremely hard and there's a specific way to cut their hair we bathe them with like an all natural dog shampoo so that's what we do and another thing is that yes they love to play they love to get dirty so be prepared King, for example he's kind of a dirty dog that's one of the <laughs> well one of the daycare um employees said to us that he just likes and it's not a bad thing he likes to get in the mud he likes to rub himself in poop i don't know why i feel like some dogs in general i guess or some aussies like poop and they just like love to rub in it so sometimes like it will get into his fur so that's kind of annoying and so since their fur is so thick sometimes it gets like knotted so like you really have to like put him in the shower and like rub it out but that's you know i just want to be honest with you guys kind of gross but it's true and overall like they're super energetic if you're asking from one to ten if they're energetic it's a ten if they need a lot of stimulation like mental stimulation that's a ten if they need a lot of grooming that is a 10. If they need to socialize with other animals, with other dogs, that's a 10. Overall, they're a very high maintenance dog. They are family dogs. Are they good with kids? 100%. Are they good with older people? 100%. These dogs are ultimate companions. They are for you and only you. They are so loyal. They just won't leave your side. They like to cuddle. They're really affectionate. I have never seen my Aussies be aggressive, ever. Even on King's first and second day here in Miami, he was trying to sleep with our other Chihuahua, our other adopted Chihuahua that's super old and she's so grumpy. King got in her bed and started to try to cuddle with her and our other dog, Ellie, the Chihuahua was like, and he didn't care. He just like slept there. I mean, he's so cute, both of them. They got home, they got accustomed to our home immediately. The cat started liking them. Ellie, the chihuahua that's grumpy, started liking them. They sleep together, the cats lick them, put them to sleep. I mean, it's like so cute. I've never seen other dogs more affectionate than these and we've had quite a few dogs. And they're just so nice. Like there's not a single person or animal that they've been mean to. They've never bitten anyone. Yeah, we let them chase people from in here because like, you know, they need to have something to do. This is not just like, yeah, get a dog and there and let it sit around all day. No, they will actually get super depressed. They'll get sick if there's no interaction. Yes, it's a lot of work, but for us, it's totally worth it. They're just amazing dogs overall. I have nothing bad to say. I guess the only thing that is kind of annoying, it's not even bad, is that their fur, like I said, they shed everywhere. They require a lot of grooming maintenance and definitely it could be on the pricey side, but I'm sure you can find a good, you know, um, groomer that won't charge you that much. Um, you don't have to put them in daycare at all. You know, you can do everything yourself. You can keep them stimulated yourself. Um, you can teach them yourself, but that's just something that we do. We found those two places that are not that expensive and they love it and they just when they go they have so much fun they're exhausted when they come home and you know they it's so hard to get Aussies exhausted and they go in at like seven and they get out at like four or five when my parents are done with work they're dead they're out by then so they really require a lot of energy to finally be like oh. now we're finally going back inside hi guys where are you going? Aren't you coming inside? No, we're going to the terrace. Let's say bye to everyone. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit subscribe below and hit that bell for notifications so you can get notified when I release new vlogs. Thanks for joining me, King and Cora.